Yo, what's up guys, Andy here, and today I'm gonna to give you a full tutorial for how to use Cash App. Cash App is a full service banking and investing app. It has a balance, savings, stocks, peer-to-peer -peer payments, a card where you can spend your balance. You can do pretty much anything involving finance on this app, and they make it extremely easy to use. So I've been recommending Cash App for a while. There's hundreds of extra tutorials on my channel for you to check out to dive into these features more in depth and learn how to use them. But first, things first you need to download cash app if you haven't done that before you can use the link down in the description and get five dollars for free once you've downloaded the app you'll have to start the sign up process it's very simple to do just go through the steps and it should only take a few minutes you'll have to provide detailed information and connect your bank account just like every finance app once you've done that we'll get into the basic features here sort of the core that you need to understand and that's going to be your cash balance here at the top of the screen. So you have this cash balance within Cash App. You can use the add cash or cash out buttons right under that and send money to and from your bank. So if you receive a payment on Cash App, you can tap cash out, send that money to your bank. If you want some more money to spend here on Cash App, tap add cash and it's going to transfer money from your bank to cash out. You could also scroll down here and use the direct deposit feature. If you don't really want to have a bank at all, you could just set up your paychecks to be directly deposited into your cash app if you want. That would come right here into your cash balance. Now that you understand the cash balance, you can start to use some of the other features within cash app. So you're going to see some more investing options here on the home screen. Next to that, you're going to see a card where you can spend your balance. You'll see peer to peer payments sort of an explore screen, and you'll see an activity screen where you can see your recent purchases, people that have sent you money, bonuses that you've earned, stuff like that. So let's go to the peer-to-peer -peer payment screen. This is sort of the first feature within Cash App. One of the core things you can do is send money to other Cash App accounts. So up in the top right corner, you can tap on that. This is gonna to go to your profile and right under your name, you're gonna see your cash tag. So you can tell other people this username and they'll be able to send you money or they can tell you their username and you can send them money. So if you wanna send someone money, just type in the amount like $10. By the way, this payment will come from your cash balance. So you see I have about $76 in here. If I were to send someone $10, this would go down to $66. By the way, you're gonna see USD right below that. If you tap on that, you can get some more options like Bitcoin and even gift cards. Check out my channel to go more in depth and learn how to do that. We're just gonna stick with the basics here. Then you would tap pay. You would type in their cash tag here. You can type a note in this field if you want. Down here, it's gonna give you some people to select from. If you know the person's cash tag, it's gonna be obvious that it's them that you're paying. I'll just, uh, select one of these people for now you can see the two field turns green so this money would be going to this person and then you just tap pay in the top right corner i'm just going to close that out but that's how easy it is to transfer money from one person to another if you want to see it in action go ahead and check out a video link down in the description i'll put a bunch of them down there for more detailed tutorials next up let's go to the card this is a huge feature within the app. If you haven't started with this feature yet, you're gonna have to create a card when you come to this screen. So it'll take you through a process where you design a physical card. It'll look like this. You can design it however you want. You can draw on it, do emojis. Then they'll send you this physical card in the mail. So then you have this card where you can spend your cash balance. And you can just swipe it at a store like you normally would. Or on the back of the card, it's gonna show your name and the card number and all the information. And you can use that to make purchases online. And it's just gonna take from your cash balance on Cash App. Along with the card right here in the middle of the screen, you can tap Explore Boosts. So this will give you a bunch of different places that are always changing. They'll add more in here. They'll add new ones. They'll change the offers. And you can get some good options from using your Cash App card. Like check this one out, 99% off Discord in-app purchase. But as you can see, there's tons of different ones to choose from in here. 2% off Target order, 10% off Chipotle, 5% off Nike, lots of useful stuff for you guys to use. 10% off Crocs. And for a lot of these, like if I wanted 10% off Crocs, I just tap add. Boost has been added. You can see that there in the middle of the screen. And now if I were to use my card to purchase Crocs or on Crocs.com or whatever, it's gonna automatically give me that 10% off and that will be applied within Cash App. So let's say I made a $100 purchase. 
instead of taking $100 out of my cash balance, it's only gonna take 90. You can also add your card to Apple Pay. You can do roundups where like if you spend $9.90, it'll round up to the next dollar and it'll take that 10 cents and add it to one of these investing features where you're investing in Bitcoin or stocks. I have a full tutorial on that as well, of course. If you ever lose your card down here at the bottom, you can design and order a new one. I use this toggle to keep my card locked if I'm not using it. That way, if I ever lose my card or anything, people can't just spend my cash balance. So there's a quick rundown of the card, very simple and fun to use. Let's head back to the home screen, cover some of these other features. So the savings account, doesn't do much yet. You can just add money in here and let's say you want to save a thousand dollars. It'll give you a goal and everything like that. I have a full tutorial video for this if you want to learn more. Bitcoin allows you to buy, sell, send, receive Bitcoin. Makes it very easy to do. I have lots of tutorials for Cash App Bitcoin on my channel, of course. And stocks is a great way to get started learning with stocks. You can go to pretty much any company that you want to invest in and buy and sell their stocks. You can do it with as little as $1. That goes for Bitcoin as well, as little as $1. So you can come in here, get started, um, just play around with investing and learn how things work. And then when you're ready to invest more and take it more seriously, just do larger amounts. And like I said, there's lots of more tutorials for the investing stuff on my channel with Bitcoin and stocks. So there's a pretty solid tutorial for Cash App for you to understand it and get started. It has pretty much anything a bank or these investing apps can do. And they're constantly adding more features, making it very easy to understand and use overall. Very easy to navigate. Navigate. That's what I really like about this app and why I recommend it. Pretty much anybody can come in here and figure it out. If there's ever something that you can't figure out, you can simply tap on the icon in the top right, scroll down, go to support, scroll all the way down, and then at the very bottom, you'll be able to tap chat. This will allow you to chat with support. They get back to you very quick. You can ask them questions about anything. You can see I've been able to do this quite a bit and it works well. Aside from that, there's a few features that we haven't talked about today that are just more in depth and you can explore those on my channel or I might have videos for them coming soon. One of those is the tax filing that you see right here. Another feature is cash app loans, bank and wire transfers, the family settings where you can set up like accounts if you have kids and then they're able to use like whatever features you allow them to within cash app to spend money or invest. It's hard for me to do tutorials on that because I don't have kids where I can directly set it up and show you how to do it. But yeah, there's a lot more within this app. I just wanted to give you the overview today where you can grasp the app and see what it does. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Let us know what you think down in the comments below or if you have any questions. Like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the other videos. There's thousands of other tutorials for finance apps. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.